tits are just fucking cooked. There's no, no question about it. Cooked! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a very special and stunning guest. Hi guys, <laughs> Vanessa from Love Island. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. As you all know, I'm like a Love Island hardcore fan. Oh, actually I've missed a few episodes, but I'm really into it. I love reality TV. So I really wanted to get Vanessa on my channel and ask her some questions. First of all, Ooh. Matt. What are your thoughts coming off the show like? Oh. Watching him on the show now, what are your thoughts? You know what? There was so much that was said that I was unaware about. Like, mm, while I was that. on the show, I thought that him and I were strong. Yeah. And in my head, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I got so lucky. I've met this amazing guy. And, like, you know, we were talking about meeting his family and everything. So oh. I was really excited. But what were your thoughts on Matt, Isabel, and then Matt and Jordan? I mean, so I missed one of those episodes yeah. because I just, honestly, as soon as I came off, I couldn't watch it because I knew he'd been making bad comments about me and stuff. So I was like, no, I can't watch this. I'm just going to get upset. You know, when he got with Jordan, I don't know, my heart broke. <laughs> really? I was so sad. I was at a PR event at a meet and greet in Adelaide. But yeah. I still have those feelings. Yeah. And so the sound wasn't on, but the TVs were on at the event. And I saw him with this girl, and that I was would like, hurt so no, much. like, oh, Aww. how can you get over me so quickly? Yeah, that <laughs> makes you feel so worthless. Because I'm still, like, obviously I think he was a bit of a dickhead, but I still have feelings there. Yeah, and you can't, you can't just, like, switch it off, you know? No. Like, it's going to take a while. But do you think you're over him now? Switch off. <laughs> <laughs> no more feelings for you. Like, I definitely wouldn't go back there. Yeah. 100% wouldn't go back there. I will be, I reckon he's going to hit you up. When they get off. Do you reckon? Fucking no. Do you think he might be the next person to be voted out? Because I reckon he might be. Yeah. I think tonight's episode. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's getting booted. Oh no, we should have filmed a reactions video of the episode. <laughs> you should do that for your YouTube channel. If you need any help with YouTube stuff, just Oh my god, 100%. Them. I'm like clueless. I don't know yeah, I, I suck too still, but I kind of... My like... Q&A video sucks. I looked at oh, it and I was like... what camera are you using? My iPhone. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, how funny was it when he didn't choose Jordan and she was full she, off it? <laughs> she, her facial expressions she, are the best. She was like, I don't want to have coffee with you on the outside. I was pissing myself. When he even made the offer, I, I was like, bah! like yeah. pissing myself. I just, yeah, I think Isabel. I feel like Jordan and I are very similar like that. Yeah, she was just like, fuck off, mate. <laughs> I tried to DM her after the show oh, and I was good. like, oh my god, babe, I feel so bad for you. How about Matt's comment? <laughs> she was like, um, I thought you were talking about me. It's so funny because I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying, Vanessa, why were you such a bitch? Why were you so rude? Why, was you, why were you so manipulative? <gasps> but if you actually watch the show, yeah. there's nothing that I actually did wrong. So everyone's basing that off the comments that the twins were making. Yeah, I think you were 100% yourself and you were maybe even more genuine than he was. Like, do you think if he got voted out, you would have left with him? Yeah, 100%. We had the conversation so many times. And that's why I was so upset with him because yeah. we'd spoken about it. I'd spoken about meeting his family. We literally had baby names. We had baby names already. Oh my god, cute. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but like that's the type of relationship yeah, yeah. That we had. And yeah, and, and he, yeah. I think he wanted, he wants to be in a good relationship, but I think he's just lost. I think he's just gone into the show and he's just way over his head. Mm. Like in the real world, he probably does want a girl. Yeah, I reckon he'll 100% hit you up, to be honest. Mm. Like he's got to. Do you want to place a bet on it? We'll see. <laughs> Do you, he's got to though, like what will your reaction be? I don't know, to be honest. Like, I'm You're going to want to see him, I think. I think that him and I do need to talk it out. Oh, she wants off to camera. see him. No, I don't want to see him. Like, I don't want to see You do, but you don't. There's things that you've got to, like, close the chapter or maybe perhaps move on from what's happened. Well, there's a lot of things unsaid, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I literally had five minutes to pack and leave the villa, so... You know, I had a few minutes with him, a few minutes with the girls. Yeah. We never really got to say what we really wanted to say to each other. Yeah. <laughs> We've already, you've already answered this. Jess, is Jessie genuine? You said yes. Yeah. She's I just think, in a tricky situation. I think that she is genuine and just her head turns, you know. Yeah. Like, well, I'm glad you cleared that up with me because I was kind of annoyed. I'm like, 
She's girl. literally the sweetest girl. She and, does like, she seem does sweet. Try. Yeah. She does seem sweet. How's how she, like, full put Maurice in his place? She was like, fuck off. He, oh, my God. <laughs> he was trying to manipulate her so hard with his... That um, was the worst relationship. He's, like, I'm sorry, but did you know he had a girlfriend? No, I didn't. He they came out with the Love Island Times and we were like, ooh, Maurice. Yeah, he did. I watched her clip as well and I her. feel really bad for her. Yeah, like he just obviously wanted, he's one person that wants fame. Because I, I remember there's a question in here saying, did you just go on it for, f she's going to leech off you. So I want to shut that person down, hey. Okay, so first of oh all, my God. first of all, I actually asked Vanessa to film. She didn't reach out to me. I reached out to her. So if anyone's leeching, it's bloody me. And so shut up. Can I also say that I also had a very big following before going on to the yeah, show. And yeah. I don't actually need the fame. Exactly. Like, you already had your modelling down pat. You were doing your thing. Where's the red <laughs> wine? Do you want to talk about this? What plastic surgery have you had done? Or no? Yeah, I took... Yeah. Because I'm really open about what I've had done. And I think that it... I love when people are open and honest about it. And it's like... It's not like so normal for people to have stuff done now. I know. I don't even know why people see it as a bad thing because no, I'm like, if you want to improve it... yourself or if there's something that you don't like about yourself absolutely like for it. absolutely I agree so you've obviously had boobs have you had your lips done I have had fucking everything done except for my lips <gasps> what yeah I know no one believes it oh like, my god you look at childhood photos of me and I have big lips but no one believes it no your lips are goals like so stunning. I'll thank my dad for that. <laughs> oh my god, Jelly. So basically, I've had my boobs done, I've had my nose done, and then I also get filler like everywhere. So Do you have your cheeks? So I have my cheeks, I have my tear troughs, I have oh. I even get filler in my nose to make it even more straight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I got filler here. Oh for the lines? <laughs> the lines? Yeah. And on my chin. Oh my and god. on my temples. You, you can't <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Guys, I have like everything. Everywhere <laughs> except the lips. Except the lips. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I need more of my lips so bad. Like I've overlined them so much. They're, yeah. They've gone down heaps. I think it looks like I get have them done a lot of the time because I overline my lips as they well. They actually look natural. They do. Like I love <laughs> your lips. They're amazing. I was I but guys. I was honestly <laughs> the only natural thing on me. <laughs> Have you had your, oh no, your teeth are natural. My teeth are natural yeah. as well. But yeah, with the filler, do you recommend cheek filler? Because I want to get some. I also want to get, um. Oh, the jawline? Yeah. Or I've, that I don't want it to make my head look fatter. Well, I wanted to get that slimming stuff. You know, yeah. you can get the injections. The Cabela? Like, Cabela? Cabela is it? Yeah, there's Cabela and there's another one. And it pretty much just like sucks it all in. Let me know if you, like, find somewhere that doesn't. I have been looking. Yeah, I'm going to get it done. I actually, yeah, because I've been breastfeeding. I haven't I haven't been able to get anything done. Like, I bloody need a touch, touch up, but. I think my favorite is cheek filler because I've had my nose done, and so the skin here sort of sags I've had my bit. nose done too. Yeah. See the little scars around mm. there? No. Yeah. Well, they cut you there. Yeah. They cut them there. I know, because you would have had a bump, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, mine was mine was just nostril work. Like, I didn't, I've never had a bump. It's just my nostrils. So you big. always had a perfect nose. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, if I show you photos, you'll be like, oh, my God. Like, my nostrils were fucking huge. Oh, my God. And they went like that. That's literally what I looked like. But anyway. <laughs> well, better than mine, I had, like, a bump. And then the tip of my nose was like quite fat as well. Yeah, that was what mine was. It was like, and it, when I smiled, oh shit, when I smiled, it like came down. Yeah. So we like chopped it off and then brought my nostrils in. Influencers in particular, like even if they say they haven't had work done, like I'm telling they you. They have. They look at themselves every single day. They have so much pressure and expectation to look a certain way. Like you just, yeah. And so, people on social media are like, and they They're savage, they? and so they pick at little things at you. Yeah, you know, they'll they'll say like, "I hate your hair" or something when yeah. you're having a frizzy day. You know, <laughs> really, because my hair's savage. naturally curly like yours. Is it? I had um, a smoothing treatment done, but it's normally like ringlets. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, we're like curly solstices." <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's all the questions. Did you want to say anything else? No, I think we've covered everything. We have covered a lot today yeah. in this video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it answers most of your questions. Make sure you head over to Vanessa's channel because she'll be uploading on her channel. I will be uploading more. At the moment, I've only got two videos on there, but I will be focusing on doing more reaction videos. Yes. And even if you guys slide into my DMs and tell me what you want to see, like, I do actually read them. I just don't have the time to respond to it's all It's so of them. hard. Like, I try because they're so nice. They're so I nice. I know. You guys are all so sweet. We love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We love you. Well, anyway, I thought you were bloody amazing oh on Oh, my Island. God. Thank you so much, I really babe. do. Thank you so much for coming. I love it worked out perfectly, actually. It really did. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye, guys.